So? Seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the raw fare. Offer may be a bit strong. Is that... Bloody Templar. What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell have you done this time, Pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? My name is... For heaven's sake... Take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kemar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de Lasserre's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de Lasserre. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parlay, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse. It's a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lesser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. went about as well as I expected. Give it time. Mirabeau will talk them around. Do you really think we'll find him? After all this time? His luck can't last forever. François Germain no, believed La Fenière was... François Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on the Rue Saint-Antoine. Why? What the... Elise? Wait for me! Where 
are you going? What are you doing? What was that about? Honor. Francois Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. Upstairs. That's where his workshop was. Let's go. It might not even be the same Germain. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. Looks like no one's home. Please. Don't tell me. It's a trap. Damn, moderate! Oh, it's a trap. Catch him and Jack! You won't it! No, you don't! Well, look who in here. Kill them! That was bracing. Just like that time in Marseille. Bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could do that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh, no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau. As soon as... I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Stay down. Do you see them? The windows across the street. Watch out! of the Templars in a sage to boot. By our reckoning, that's the second sage to rise to the Templars' highest rank. A troubling trend. Until we know more about this Germain, stick with Arnaud. He might have outlived this Grandmaster, and that could lead us to his body. Bishop out. Come here. 
Make this easy on yourself. Tell me who you're protecting. you. Look at this sorry sack of bastard. This is my fight Un voleur qui fuit les gars. Oui, toi, là. Elise. Monsieur Mirabeau. I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course, you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture. Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Handkerchief. 
lady's handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects, then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. Yes, sir. Have you been here all day? No, sir. I arrived at four to see to this week's delivery of wine. Anyone else arrived since then? Only the young lady with the red hair, sir. She went straight away to the master's study. And you haven't been upstairs? The weekly wine delivery is quite extensive, sir. I see. Thank you for your time. Sir, do you recognize this handkerchief? Hmm. Oh, yes, sir. It belongs to Emily. Emily? The maid. I'm given to understand she saved up her wages for a month to purchase it. It made her feel like a lady, she told me. And where is Emily now? At the market, sir. Thank you. Of course, sir. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kamo. How are you, Anna? Ah, Monsieur Dorian. What can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite from my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course, but I do know of an apothecary in Le Marais who's willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you.
la révolution. Bonsoir. I wonder Shit. if you might end. Not again. Well played. Wait. Damn you, come back here. Slow down. Wait. a few questions. What are you talking about? You, you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man. Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw his face. Ah! He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison. I didn't ask questions. Ah! I keep only a small quantity in stock. He took that straight away, but he told me where to drop off the second dose. Second dose? Here. That's all I know. I swear it. Go on, then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for?